Now we want to get back to that story in Antelope, where there are so many concerns after the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office revealed a sexually violent predator living very close to an elementary school. You see the school in the house right there. Now, Robert Singleton's his name. He's a classified sexually violent predator, lives with a family in a home just blocks away from North Country Elementary School. The Sheriff's Office says Singleton was sent to prison in 1994, then released in 2003, and then sent to a state hospital where he served his entire your parole term. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Tori Abadaka, is on this story. She's live in the newsroom getting answers on why the sheriff's office, Tori, is sending out this warning. Yeah, you can look up on the website Megan's Law and see that sexually violent predators who have served their time live all over our communities, and people living nearby often don't even know. So what's different with this case, and why did the sheriff's office go door to door in the neighborhood with this warning? We're getting answers. You're going to kick the leaves. It's not what any mother wants to hear. I have a three year old, so that definitely makes me scared. That a sexually violent predator lives in their neighborhood. Hey, red light. This mother had no idea she was walking her little girl on the same street where registered sex offender Robert Singleton lives. Singleton's been convicted of lewd or lascivious acts with a child under 14 multiple times and has served all of the time he was sentenced to. Did living by a school or a park give you more peace of mind as far as just where you were moving into? Originally, yes. Um, that was why we picked this area. But that doesn't keep sexually violent predators from living there. In 2015, California overturned Jessica's law, which kept sex offenders from living at least 2,000 feet away from a school or park. The reason? Courts were having trouble placing released predators. Singleton moved in five months ago about 530 feet away from North Country Elementary School. I just want to be left alone. I mean, I've done my time already. You know, I'm sick. I got cancer here. We spoke with Singleton over the phone. The sheriff's office claims that they saw you uh, in front of your home during uh, pickup time from school, kids walking to and from. I don't come outside every time kids come to be outside. I just step outside the first year. But that's the only recent incident the sheriff's office could tell us, and it's not a crime. Criminal defense attorney Mark Reichel believes this warning from the sheriff's office seems a little excessive for law enforcement. It could be political, that it's good politics for the sheriff's department or the uh, people involved, you know, they're doing this. Um, or it could be that they have a feeling there's something amiss. To which the sheriff's office spokesperson shot down. We have articulable things. We've had actual events of that we've observed that have caused some alarm. We played some of our conversation we had with Singleton to the sheriff's office spokesperson. My neighbors, they don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to do anything to anybody. I hope he's 100% correct. I hope nothing happens and I hope everybody gets to live a normal, peaceful life. So far, I've heard that he's not in violation of any law. So Singleton is required to register as a sex offender every 90 days. He tells me he re-registered at the end of October. So, Tori, a couple questions for you. Does Singleton still have a parole officer or any authority he reports to besides having to register as a sex offender? No, Singleton was released under what is considered an unconditional release. So the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says he does not have a parole officer watching him. And that's why the Sheriff's Office says it's keeping an eye on him after receiving reports of incidents. The spokesperson, though, cannot tell us how many.